Damn. That's good. going on YouTube land up near back with another video as you've seen from the intro I've got an announcement to make I'm happy to announce that I'm partnering with High Rock Vodka for North Wilkesboro Speedway my friend Del Hart Jr. and Sugarlands Distilling Company it's gonna be a really really cool event we're running the limited late model portion down at North Wilkesboro two races Tuesday and Wednesday night it's gonna be really cool but today I'm gonna take you guys with me on a tour of both their Kodak and their Gatlinburg locations for their distilleries Kodak is the brand new big scale uh, distillery and then we're going to go down to Gatlinburg where it's open to the public so you guys are going to get to see inside the Kodak location which is not open to the public and then we're going to make the trip down to Gatlinburg to uh, taste test and try a few cocktails moonshines and all that good stuff so thank you guys for being here thank you for clicking on this upload I hope you enjoy this and uh, let's get after it Sugarland, and uh, he's gonna be taking us around today, so I'm pretty excited. We're gonna walk with him. He's gonna be explaining some, what some of this stuff does. I don't know how much we'll get on the camera, but I'll try to get as much as I can. We've got a, an active mass, uh, and we'll talk about what's really happening in the cooker. Okay. Um, this is an 8,500 gallon cooker. Um, our typical our batch size is just under 8,000 gallons. And we have four 8,000 gallon thermal. White spirits, uh, moonshine, you know, so vodka, unaged rum, the gin. A lot of distilleries start with those things because it gives you some cash flow up front. Um, and then whiskey's a long term game. HMI, we can control most of the things around the whole distillery. Okay. The screen we're on right here. step is we're pumping it through these tanks and each of these tanks contains the sugar maple charcoal and the uh, coconut fiber activated carbon so and you just pump it through really slow so it has a lot of contact time and that does the mellowing and then it's going to go into one of the holding tanks and then we're going to cut it to 88 proof get it right on the money and then send it to the bottling line Basically, they were made really for the wine industry, um, and so they're aging the staves. They're air drying them out in like a big yard, stack the wood strips on pallets, and you just let it sit out in the rain, the the sun, the elements, and so they're air drying. Really like what we get out of a 53 gallon barrel, starting at about three and a half years is about the earliest we want to touch it. Mark and Digger. Um, we don't carry this one anymore, but Patty was on the show for a while. Um, Jim Tom. So mm -hmm. this is our unaged rye. So basically, 
once it goes into a barrel, right. it's going to be ultimately become Roaming Man. Um, probably make a little different cuts on it, but um, Mark Rogers each. Mm -hmm. All right, that place was absolutely incredible. I'm not going to put every single clip, or I didn't put every single clip in there, but Greg, phenomenal guy, really uh, informative and walked us through everything from the very start of the process to the very end of the process, both on the vodka, the moonshine, the whiskey, everything. So freaking sweet, uh, an awesome experience. Now we get to go up to Gatlinburg and uh, check out the uh, distillery that's open to the public. I'm gonna go taste test some stuff and uh, sample and drink as much as I possibly can. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, they did hook us up with some stuff, so I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. So we got some beautiful cases of High Rock. Can't wait for those. Some merchandise. And then we've got, I think, their top eight moonshines here same thing with this one so he hooked us up on the top whatever they've got i think uh electric orange is in here as well as the sipping cream so pretty pumped for those and uh, now we're gonna head up to gatlinburg all right we have arrived in gatlinburg and uh, we're about to head up here to the uh, Gatlinburg location for Sugar Lands Distilling Company. Go in here, sit down, do a bunch of taste testings. I think we're meeting with DK up here, so pretty excited for that. Try a whole bunch of different stuff and I'll let you guys know what is my favorite. But most importantly, we're gonna have some High Rock mixed drinks. And how much are you gonna drink? A lot. they're doing is they're looking at for the size of the bubbles and how quickly they dissipate. Uh, so the larger the bubbles and the quicker it goes away, the higher the proof of the alcohol. So as you can see, those bubbles went away pretty quick. So the bubbles are huge right now. The bubbles are huge and go away. So they they go. Smell like right That's going to smell like no, no, that, anything. That smells like, yeah. yeah. 143 proof bubbles. <laughs> Just 143. <Yeah. laughs> That's going to be on the higher end of the hearts, right? Uh, we cut the hearts at, yeah. Uh, typically, our heart trend we see sitting around 125. This is not going to be our best. You see it 90 proof, mm -hmm. so it's right there close to that cut. Okay. It's going to be a little bit more bitter, but also a little more sweetness. All right, down the hatch. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't think it's bad. I mean, I don't know what's necessarily good in the shot taste, you know? Like, I, I don't think it's terrible. Yeah. You want to try our hearts for today? Uh, so right now we're in hearts. This valve was open. Yep. Earlier today we were in heads. This one was open. The other two were the other two were closed. And here in probably ten-ish minutes, I'm gonna open this one, close this one. That way, it'll go into the right container. Uh, and so we actually measure the alcohol content in all of these. And we have to report for taxing purposes. Yeah. That's just how it works. <laughs> all right. So. Trent, he's here working at the Gatlinburg uh, Distillery. He showed us that, and DK was walking us through, that's their original copper still. If you remember earlier in the video, we showed you that big ass still from Kodak. That's the one that they have now, which is the biggest in the US, biggest copper still in the US. So they started with that one eight years ago, I think 2014, right? And uh, moved to this one, 750 gallons. And now they obviously have a big one in Kodak. So here we got to see kind of their grassroots version of how they started. Trent gave me some uh, moonshine straight out of the tap. I downed it. I don't think I was supposed to drink it that fast, uh, but I did. And then he, he gave me some hearts, some of the hearts part of it, right? That's how you say it, yeah. And so that's like the meat of the moonshine or what's good. And they're gonna take the heads and the tails, recycle it back and uh, run it through the distilling process again. So. Really, really cool. Need to see how they started. Obviously, you guys seen the, the big giant uh, Kodak distillery and uh, how that operates. So now we're gonna go back. We're gonna taste Roman Man uh, whiskey and uh, see the rest of the distillery. Gonna get out of just a, a bottle and bar and just see all the same age, all the the same age. Is there a specific way I need to drink this in order to taste it? I right? knew you're gonna ask that. What what I'd like for y'all to do is just nose it, you know, just kind of just kind of walk it a little bit. You know, it's it's a higher proof, it's a hundred proof. And so 
first initial sniff is going, it's going to be a little bit more ethanol. You're going to be able to get past the, uh, the alcohol. Yeah. And you're going you're gonna to experience a little bit more of the uh, subtle nuances. So for me, that second one oftentimes to be citrusy, kind of fruity, like for this one. It smells like an apricot. <laughs> yeah, get apricots, I get uh, orange. Um, it like you did the moonshine back there a minute ago. So I was like, here, taste this. And he's like, okay, get on the hatch. It's not what I mean. Make sure to leave some in there too, because I'm we're gonna do some. I'm gonna take a look. Yeah, yeah. Take a couple of breaths. It'll take a whole lot of time, and then taste it again. I had a lot more, or maybe not different flavors, but the flavor was a lot. Uh, it's like accelerated. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Wow. Hey, it's hazelnut rum. One of my favorites here. Cheers, Mark. Not mine. Yeah, it's hit or miss for us. I love it. This isn't like Fireball. Everybody's like, no, dude, I got PTSD from my buddies in the bar, man. This is like Red Hot and Big Red. It's sweet, refreshing cinnamon, not hot cinnamon. You shouldn't have flashbacks of pissing in your stove or fighting yourself in a mirror. Waking up next to your cousin on a try or all 40 proof. So we'll end easy. And these are dairy based cream liqueurs. If you're allergic to dairy or milk or lactose, just go for it. You ain't really live till you shit your bridges in Gatlinburg, honey. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't really live. Yeah. I'm not riding with you, so I don't care. All right. So, <laughs> well, we had a lot of tastings. And as you guys can see, I'm sorry this camera's a little rocky. I'm like I need to stop walking. All right. So I drank a lot today. Had a lot of fun. I got a lot of stuff here. A lot of uh, liquor and, and more things. Shout out to Sugarlands Distillery, High Rock Vodka. It's going to be a fun-ass weekend at uh, Wilkesboro. It's actually during the middle of the week, not a weekend. Thank you to Dell Jr. for this opportunity. Thank you to all of the... Uh, High Rock Vodka crew and the Sugarlands Distillery crew for giving me this opportunity to represent their brand. They fed me a lot of alcohol today. And now I'm about to go eat me a fat steak and a good breakfast and a lot of other things. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm a little off kilter. Um, yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.